Hello YouTube, my name's Aaron. So, I wanted to help out, since I know when I try to do this, I need a lot of help and didn't find it on YouTube, but with installing rear speakers into third gen uh, Honda, Honda? How about Ford Rangers? Uh, but the, if you're like me, you got the truck and then you realized, hmm, these back speakers don't really sound very good. Or you realize, oh, there are no speakers in the back there's just these empty grills so what do we do about that the first thing you're gonna need to do get a stereo uh, upgrade the stereo uh, i spent a lot of hours looking and could not find any diagrams there are no wires going to the back speakers and couldn't find anything that showed me if their existing wires could do that but the first thing you do is, is a stereo but actually i'll tell you getting a stereo is a huge improvement by itself uh, because just from the stock radio stereo to that is not only to get Bluetooth and all that stuff but now even the stock speakers sound amazing after that though the next step is to get new speakers and six by eights uh, any will do I mean wait till Best Buy has a deal and get the $50 ones I got kickers for 50 bucks uh, or you can get whatever brand you want to it's gonna be worth it because you've doubled your speakers and you're gonna notice the difference right off the bat so next step is to run the wires here's how you do it take off here's the four you know screws there take them off and just run your wire this way so it's very easy you don't need to take out any of the the seats or anything notice one has a white stripe one does not keep that in mind all I gotta do Put it down through there and you push it under, if I can pull it out, just push it under here. You can see how I'm moving it right now because I had the wire but not grabbing it. So there it is. And then you come down, I've already unscrewed this part just to show you, run it right there. That's all you got to do. And then you come to here, right there, all the way up into the back and that's like i do this dude for the same side it's the same thing take this off these screws come out with a phillips screw it back on it's very easy from there it's like i gotta do is run it back into the back of the stereo you say hey that's a lot harder can you do it you know you take off these two screws pop this thing out and then you pop out the other side and there's videos on how to do that. You'll have connectors, you undo those, it's easy. Now, I'll say, hey, it'd be easier if you showed me. It's, I can't get to it right now, just because uh, I can't hold this and do that. Either way, it's very easy to do. All you'll need to do is, you'll, when you get it from the stereo, whatever, you'll get a connector, is what you need to go get a connector that's for your vehicle. And it'll be labeled, clearly. Here's the purple, here's the green, because those are the ones that go to the back speakers, the purple and the green. And it'll say which one's right, which one's left. And you'll be you just plug it in, and you saw those red connectors there that I had on the speaker. You put those in, you crimp it. You can get wire nuts. You could do electrical tape. I'm not a fan of that, just because they can come undone. So wire nuts, little crimping things, th those work great. And then now you got an awesome, awesome system. A couple things to be aware of. The uh, Make sure the settings are all right on your on your new stereo because when I first plugged it in, they're all wired up right. There's positive and negative. That's what the white and the clear, so you know which one's positive, which one's negative. You can track it. It doesn't matter. You can decide which one you want to be positive or negative. That's up to you. But as long as negative from the stereo is going to negative in the speaker, positive from the stereo, positive the speaker. Now the uh, yeah the settings because those can be different. Per stereo again it wasn't working then I was able to go to some settings took me a while finally figured it out now they worked you can feel the speakers right behind you they kick in turn up that bass if you want to it's definitely awesome but make sure when you do the speaker especially on the back right that you put some cardboard or something on the back of it otherwise it may rattle against the front you know the the middle of the of, of your cab here and that's not gonna sound very good so either that or you know some foam whatever but make sure put something between the back of the speaker and the back of that because this now this one doesn't hit it so that's fine um, but yeah be aware of that also maybe don't use the, the screws that come with it as you see these are sticking out here because they were just too long uh, instead get some shorter ones on the other side it is some shorter screws not sticking out you're fine 
and also then um, there may be too much sound now for your for your vehicle so you may have to wedge in something here so that this piece doesn't rattle uh, you may have to put some you can't see it here but put some tape on the back of this so that way this doesn't rattle it just kind of is uh, some electrical tape kind of holds it in place ish but it can still move but you will may need to insulate your vehicle soundproof it a little bit type thing and all of a sudden so that way to get rid of those rattles from now your awesome kick and bass system but that is how you add speakers to the back of the third gen ford ranger so i hope this helps you out uh, if you if it does let me know and if not uh well, well good luck i'll try to throw something more detailed and help you out but anyway uh thanks for stopping by have a good one